So we were making some shelves and we had two nice cherry boards that had knots in them. But otherwise the board is totally solid so we didn't want to lose, we didn't want to waste this board. It's a really nice shelf. So we've started. Here's, I'll start with a fresh one here. So first you want to, here's one that has a knot in it if we were going to try to salvage this board. Now there are other products. There's products that are clear. I think epoxies and stuff but this is the old um, glue and sawdust technique, I'll call it. So we basically put some glue in there. And this is about as simple as you can get. Put some sawdust on there. Tap it down. And then if it's a bigger gap, you want to put even more glue and more sawdust. But let this harden and then the next day you end up with something like this, which you can scrape. I already scraped this one. And then you can sand it. Now the problem is this one has a little dimple right here. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue in there and more sawdust. And this one has a big area. This was a big one, so we definitely need more glue in this one. And sometimes you have to do this like two or three times, but it'll be solid and it's pretty easy to do. Now on this one, this knot actually went right through the board. So on this side, we put some clear tape on it so, cause, so the glue wouldn't go out and onto my bench. So I guess we could probably pull this off now because it's been overnight. It may not be 100% dry. Yeah, so actually we can um, now do this side. Let's put a little glue in there. And a little sawdust. And then we'll just set this aside and come back in a day and do more if we need to. Scrape it, sand it, and we're done. We'll be all repaired. Okay.